Hello and welcome to the Nursing Research Learning Series brought to you by the University of Texas at Arlington Libraries. I am Ray Jeffers, your Health Sciences Librarian, and I'm here to talk to you today about topic number three, which is the CINAHL database orientation. So what you're looking at now is the uh, cumulative index for nursing and allied health literature. Um, this is the EBSCO interface for CINAHL Complete Database. I'm going to just hit some high points here. I'm not going to go in depth on a lot of stuff because there are a lot of things in this database to look at. Um, so I'm just going to do some quick hits here. The first thing you can do is sign in. Um, if you don't have a login already, you can create one. Um, it'll ask you to create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And that is your net ID and your password. Okay, and you'll see I'm now logged in. There's my name here at the top. If I want to sign out, I can sign out here. But the reason I ask you to uh, create a login for this uh, database is because you can save things in folders, um, which can be helpful later on. So this new search button, you can click when you want to execute a brand new search. Um, we're going to skip over, over the publications. We're going to go into CINAHL subject headings. Um, CINAHL subject headings are, um, it's like hashtagging in that it tries to describe what the article is about that you're reading. So they are stamped with subjects um, that tell the aboutness of what you're reading. Um, there are evidence-based care sheets. Um, these are just, uh, these are published by CINAHL um, and updated every so often. So you can click the evidence-based care sheet button and you can find topics on various uh, disease processes and treatments. Um, the next thing that's sort of related to evidence-based care sheets is a quick lesson. So in both of these, you have the ability to um, either browse alphabetically or you can search and click the browse button here. And same thing for quick lessons. So here's your quick lessons and you notice it's, it's organized the same way. It's alphabetically um, or you can search and click browse. So what the, what the uh, quick lessons are are just quick hits for uh, nursing professionals who just need a, an overview of a specific disease process or treatment. Um, under the more, you have cited references, images, and indexes. I'm going to just show you the cited references. So let's click that. And what this is used for is if you're looking for a specific author, a specific title, um, cited on the year. So you just fill out these uh, fields based on the information that you have and then click search and it will try to find that citation for you in this database. Um, so with that, let's go back to our main screen. So you can see here it says we're searching CINAHL complete, but if you notice next to it, you have the option to choose other databases. Um, for nursing research, I don't recommend doing it this way um, for a lot of reasons, but mostly because you're going to get different limiters for each database. But I'm just going to show this to you briefly, um, just so you understand what it does and why it's here. So you can go through this list and click the button next to the database you want to add. If you notice, CINAHL is already um, checked, but there are other databases that could be relevant to the type of search you're doing. So you might want to look at these and see if there are any you want to add. Just make sure you add the limiters for each one as well. Okay, so that is, uh, if you look down here and scroll down, you have search options here and I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm going to leave it just as it is. 
But if you scroll down even further, you're going to get a lot more options uh, to add to your search strategy. Um, most common is the date. If you just put the date range in and leave the year empty, it will search up to current. And sometimes you'll get preprints that come out before the publication date. Um, so if you just leave the end year blank and put in the beginning year, it'll search to current. You can select English language here. Um, I don't recommend using the peer reviewed button because most of what's in CINAHL is already peer reviewed. And if something hasn't been marked peer reviewed and it is peer reviewed and you click this button, you're not going to see it. So don't use the peer review button. Um, rely on your own expertise to figure out if it is a peer reviewed article. Um, you have, if you go down a little bit further, um, you have the ability to, to look for an, a nurse author here. Just know if you click this button, it's going to um, whittle your results down to almost nothing. So just be really careful with this one. Um, then if you look in journal subset, you can look at other um, types of articles, I mean types of journals, excuse me. So if I only want nursing journals, I could click just nursing or core nursing. Um, I'm not going to click anything right now. Um, geographical subset. So if you only wanted United States, you can look at that. USA right here. Um, you also have publication types. Um, so if you're looking for evidence-based care sheets, you could find that there. Um, a practice guideline, you could find a practice guideline this way. Um, language here. So lots of stuff on this screen for you to get familiar with and knowing what's on this screen will ha help you save a lot of time in your searches. Um, so with that, that is a, a quick run over um, the interface that you'll be working with with CINAHL. If you happen to need help in CINAHL uh, beyond what's in this series or on my other videos, you can click this help button here over in the top right hand corner and that will populate a list for you uh, of topics that you can choose from uh, for, from EBSCO. So thank you for showing up for my video series and I look forward to seeing you on the next topic.